product of the week. Brought to you by Tackle World. Now with eight great locations around Victoria. Tackle World, where our advice is priceless. That's why it's for free. See you down at Tackle World today. Talking fishing, talking fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. And last week we mentioned the big AFTER awards that were up on the Gold Coast a few weeks ago where they have awards for every different product uh, category and the winner of the best reel at the AFTER awards was the Shimano Stratic ads and we're going to talk about the Shimano Stratic tonight because what a unbelievable range of reels they are. Yeah, well, I, this, I guess through the time I've been in the fishing industry there hasn't been too many reels that have been as well received as what these have been. Um, for a number of reasons, which we'll get into. Uh, a few new technologies Shimano have incorporated into the into the real making process. Mm. Not so much a new body or a new spool or anything new that crazy. It's more on a processing level on their behalf, which basically just means smoother for longer, but we'll get into that as we delve a into it. Absolutely, Ads, and look, a little bit of a shape difference, a bit of a colour right. difference, obviously, mm. because Modern. these were the old traditional, the FJ white, white. Yep. but we're going to have a look at a little bit of a video now just on some of the technology that's gone into this new Stratic range. Can I ask the first question, Ads? What's Hagani? Hagani. It's Sounds like soup. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's something you'll hear uh, a lot about in the next few years because I think it's something Shimano will incorporate massively into the new range. Yeah. They've really pushed it with the Stratic. Basically what it is, it's a process in how they make the main gear. As mm. you saw briefly in the video, everything's made out of one piece. So that main gear is not something that's poured molten no. metal into a press mm. or it's not made up and ground away with an angle nope. grinder or something no, like it's, that? It's actually, it's cold forged. So mm. even all the little teeth you see on those gears, they're not actually cut. It's, it's made out of one piece of material, mm. which means obviously longevity is a huge thing. Wheels, uh, reels are designed to be turned hundreds and thousands of times throughout, mm. the, throughout the course the life, of their yeah. life. But the other thing is Hagani, it, it's a process. You see it in the gears, you see it in the body. They combine that with X-Ship, which has been out for a few years. And, and all X-Ship is, is basically means that the main shaft, the main stem, can't twist or warp under pressures, whether that be through use, drag pressure, all those sort of things. It's basically a huge process which guarantees you're getting the best value for money per reel because you're going to get the longevity out of it. Let's run through the sizes because they come in a one, 2,500, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Now in yep. the old range there was a six and an eight. They're not doing that in the new range yet? No, not, not yet. And, and whether we see reels that size in the Stratic range in the future, I doubt it, only because the Shimano really separated their saltwater reels from their 
I guess they're smaller as you see yeah. in the Stellas. Uh, once you get from a 4,000 above, they become a saltwater concept. Yep. I think it's just a way of being more specific, and that's the way the world's going. Everything is so specific yeah. these days. Let's start. Let's have a quick look at 1,000. But when you get to 5,000, I'll go wow because uh, that's mm. my favourite. Mm. But the one's that's a cracker. Mm. Yeah, uh, 1,000. So a size that's been part of the Shimano stable forever. This is your brim, your trout, yep. any of your light line applications. The spool is not crazy shallow. So you, uh, for those who want to run light monos, three pound, a lot of people, flu straight through spinning with fluorocarbons, huge these days. Um, so the 1000 is what you'll be looking at in that reel. Um, the 2500 would be, for us in Victoria, probably the most popular size over the mm. last, for as long as I've been in the game yep. anyway. Um, this is the most universal size, whether it's trying to catch a snapper, still your brim fishing, six, 10 pound braids, that sort of thing. From there, you move into a 3000, which is a relatively new size, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. You'll see on the packaging this, it's actually classed a compact reel. They're basically Co saying- Compact body, isn't it? Compact body, that's right. Yeah. They're basically trying to tell you the reel should be bigger, but it's not. It's the same body size as 2500. The 3000 spool allows for more line. So this is for us as a lure fishing reel for snapper, that's the one because it's light, it's small, it's got huge drag. I think it's upwards of nearly eight kilos of drag, but you can spool that with a 15 pound braid. 20 pound with some of the newer braids, they're getting that thin and that reel will cope, no worries at all. It then moves into the 4000 size, which uh, we all know that's been huge in the ranges mm. in previous years. Would that be years. your most popular trelly, a four for cod or a five? Yeah, now with the new braids, like Adam says, with the new braids, they, they, they are changing two smaller reels that yeah. are stronger, so it definitely fits into it. That along with the 2500 for red fin and yellow belly. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. 4000, your typical 4000 size, you can run anywhere up to a 20, maybe 30, but you're probably pushing it. Up mm. to a 20 pound braid's perfect for it. Yeah, you know I'm good at my technology. The four and five have got higher retrieve rate, have they? Like the extra gear? That's right. So thought, they're yeah. basically trying to corner the light game fishing market with some of these things. Yeah. Now, that, when I say game fishing, I'm talking maybe your smaller size of your big pelagics, mm. yep. whether it be kingfish up north, uh, small mackerel, yep. uh, trevally, that sort of thing. That's got a bigger knob. It has. <laughs> Thanks, Trelly. <laughs> 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 This, the 5000, again, similar concept to the 3000. It's a 4000 body, so a compact body, big spool, big power handle. And it's amazing how much that big handle makes a difference in getting line back on the reel. So if you're looking at it for kingfish or you want to take it away traveling, the 5000 is one you'll be looking at. We've probably found over the last few years with snapper, our normal bait snapper fishing rods getting lighter and lighter, 5000 is quickly becoming one of the most popular reels because it's such a versatile size. Mm. That compact mm. body with the big spool, you run up to a 30 pound braid on that, no worries at all. You upwards of 10 kilos of drag. Um, you can basically catch whatever you want anywhere around the country, whether it's barra, mackerel, kingfish, snapper, whatever you want. The 5000 uh, is definitely up there with one of the more versatile members of the new Stratic family. What a range of fishing reels. I tell you what, get into your local tackle store and have a look because Stratic, the new model, FK, Unbelievable, and the quality second to none, isn't That's it? That's right, so they, they look fancy. It's a body shape and design that Shimano have never done. Yeah. Uh, and it really is a great looking reel, but the performance is just ridiculous. Yep. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Product of the week, brought to you by Tackle World. Now with eight great locations around Victoria. Tackle World, where our advice is priceless, that's why it's for free. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. And last week we mentioned the big AFTER awards that were up on the Gold Coast a few weeks ago, where they have awards for every different product uh, category, and the winner of the best reel at the AFTER awards was the Shimano Stratic ads, and we're going to talk about the Shimano Stratic tonight, because what a unbelievable range of reels they are. Yeah, well, I, this, I guess through the time I've been in the fishing industry, there hasn't been too many reels that have been as well received as what these have been. Um, for a number of reasons, which we'll get